five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman and, and ranking member for holding the hearing and let me um, again acknowledge and welcome our witnesses uh, and say that one of the president's uh, infrastructure legislative principles includes uh, the federal divestiture assets. And I understand that we are seeking new and creative ways to fund infrastructure projects. However, what we don't want is to sell off our assets to simply the highest bidders, regardless of the entity's ability to efficiently and effectively manage those assets for the public good. Uh, I am from Dallas, Texas. It's the inland part of the state where we have to build and supply our own water. And I believe that the uh, state and local governments are best equipped to understand and utilize uh, these assets if the federal government is looking to divest itself from the responsibility. But in this context of federal divestiture, has the Corps considered a right of first refusal for state and local government entities? On the particular projects, ma'am, uh, no. Uh, I, th I think uh, the way I have read what is out there at this time is that state and local governments, uh, plus any other entity, could could get in on on that plan as far as, as purchasing. Well, uh, as this consideration goes forth, I would like very much to get your commitment that you will consider the first first uh, consider the impact on local communities. Um, because inland waterways, Texas relies heavily on its inland waterways for the movement of goods and throughout the Gulf. In fact, just this week, the Corps outlined its plan to modernize the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway at the Brazos River floodgates and the Colorado River locks. However, the President's budget requests proposes some alarming changes to the Inland Waterways Trust Fund that could impact the cost of goods for shipment along the inland system, such as the Gulf Intercoastal Waterways. Even more alarming is the President's push to privatize segments of the Inland Waterways systems. I'd like if you would elaborate on the rationale behind this push to privatize certain projects along these inland waterways and, and how it might impact existing projects, such as the Gulf Intr Intracostal Waterway Project in Texas. Um, it is unique that an inland city is one of the largest trade cities uh, in the country. And so we depend a lot on transporting by waterways, you uh, use both the uh, ports at Houston as well as Long Beach. And uh, we have uh, some real concerns about the waterways and how they will be managed. I understand and I sympathize with your concerns, uh, but at this time I would, I would like to visit with you on that. Uh, as I get more information due to the fact that I haven't been here very long, and I apologize for that. But as I get the information and digest the information, get some briefing on the information, I'd like to visit with you further on this subject. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We've had great working relationships with the Corps. We want to continue that, and I appreciate uh, your willingness to get back with me. Uh, in 2017, uh, Hurricane Harvey brought the greatest amount of waterfall ever recorded. Uh, in the lower 48 states due to a single storm in Texas. In what ways does the President's budget request help to not only meet our current water-related infrastructure needs, but also to build these projects more durably? Uh, because we know that resilience is going to be very important for the future. So, ma'am, let me take that. I think the most important way is not necessarily in this year's budget, but it's in the supplemental, the disaster supplemental that was passed. And we got $17.4 billion from Congress to be able to invest. And there was a very specific laydown of where that money should go 
but most of that money would go into the storms that were affected by Harvey, Irma, and Maria. So that's where we're really going to be able to look at the resiliency. How do we come back in? So some of that we'll have to look at studies. There's a lot of different engineering solutions. But as we continue to put that portfolio together, we'll bring it back up and make sure that everybody's informed as to where that investment's going to go. Thank you very much, and thank you, Mr. Chairman.